Okay. Welcome back to Heavyweight Camping Review, guys. I've been thinking about making some more videos uh, that could be helpful for people, and I've been thinking about what I could do other than just kind of my mediocre gear reviews. Uh, I, t I tend to rush a little bit. So I thought about what I could do is some top five lists or some five things to do or five things to bring. You know, small lists where I can try to maybe give some people some things that they haven't thought about that they would need for camping or, or not to bring for camping. Um, one of my biggest things I could say is don't try to go too far in the beginning. If you're just starting out, stay local or stay as local as you can. Um, there's no need to put in two, three, four, five hours in a drive to go camping for a day or two. Uh, find a local national park. National parks are almost always the better option. They're cheaper, they're cleaner, the people are always very friendly, they're very reasonable about things. Um, that would be my number one for like a general list of top five things to think about for when you're just starting out going camping. Uh, number two is don't get crazy about spending a bunch of money on a tent. Uh, if you've never gone and you're doing this to see if you guys want to do it or not, go to Walmart, get an Ozark Trail tent. They're perfectly reasonable. Uh, they're very well made. There's nothing wrong with an Ozark Trail tent. And there's no reason why you should spend five or six hundred dollars on a tent that you may or may not continue to use. If your family doesn't like it, then you've just wasted a bunch of money on nothing. Uh, that'd be number two. You know, don't go crazy on a tent. Get a good tent, but don't go crazy. Uh, my number three would be make sure you've got a good cooler. Uh, a really good cooler is worth its weight in gold. And it's not something that you'll only use camping. If you guys like to do day trips, you like to go to the beach, you like to go exploring or hiking or anything like that, a good cooler is going to be worth its weight in gold. So you, you'll be able to multi-purpose it for trips and for other events. It's not just going to be for camping. Spend the money. Uh, an Ozark Trail uh, cooler. I've gotten some of their their more expensive ones. They're still under a couple hundred bucks. You're not going to be spending, you know, uh, the big Orca cooler or the the big other big brand names seven hundred dollars on a cooler is crazy. But get a decent one. Invest, uh, you know, one hundred fifty bucks, two hundred bucks. Get a good cooler. You know, that that'd be my number three. Um, number four for the general stuff would be don't get carried away with bedding. Don't buy a bunch of bedding. Get some cheap air mattresses from your local store or, or wherever on, online and then bring your own bedding from the house. Again, you're, you're just starting out. You don't need to go crazy investing a bunch of money. So don't don't get carried away buying sleeping bags and also you have stuff at the house. You have a washer and dryer at the house. And if you don't, you've got a laundromat you go to. Bring your own bedding. Wash it when you get home or wash it the next day or throughout the week. That, that would be my big number four. And number five would be don't underestimate your food and don't overestimate your food. Uh, bring reasonable amounts of food because you may or may not have a camping stove. Uh, you may or may not have any camping gear. So you're going to be cooking on the, the, the little grate that comes at the campground and uh, they're not the best. Get hot dogs and get some camping sticks. You're going to have marshmallows and s'more stuff. Uh, you know, maybe some burgers and buns. Uh, ramen's always a great thing, a cup of ramen, the ones that you can pour hot water in. You know, you can bring a tea kettle from the house or you can buy one of those cheap, you know, uh, percolators that they, they sell for making coffee. You take the percolator part out and you can just use that to boil water. Instant ramen cups are always a great thing to, to get, you know, instant oatmeal. Anything that's easy, don't, don't overcomplicate your food. Make sure you've got water and all your kinds of drinks that you want for all the, yourself and the kids if, you were, if you're going to bring kids. But don't get too carried away. Uh, that's the big thing. But don't not bring enough. Uh, always bring snacks. Uh, I usually try to repurpose some of my snacks into Ziploc bags just so that way everything stays sealed. And uh, I'm sure I probably don't have to say this, but don't leave your food laying around at night. When you go to bed, pack everything up in the cooler or in bags or bring it into the tent with you if you can. Unless you're in bear country, then you really want to get that up above uh, in, a, in a high hide, you know, with some string and get that suspended up and away. 
if you're not in bear country, that's not something you need to worry about, but the raccoons and stuff like that, they'll come in and, and poke around at night. So if you don't want your stuff gone through, make sure you pack it away at night. And then like the, the biggest important thing I could say is, I know there's a lot of new people camping a lot. Uh, it's become a much more popular thing recently. It's, it's had a resurgence. Clean up your trash. Don't leave your freaking garbage laying around. Make sure you do a sweep. And you know what? I don't care if it's your garbage or not. If you see garbage at your campsite or where you're walking or throughout your travels while you're at the place you're at, pick it up. Do your part. Because if we don't, they're going to start shutting places down and they're going to make it more difficult for the rest of us that have been camping all along, that have been camping all of our lives, that really truly love this stuff. And it's going to make it more difficult for all of us. So clean up your trash. Don't be a piece, a piece of trash yourself and clean up your mess. So anyway, that's that's my my break into top five, you know, just starting out. Those are like the bare essentials of stuff that you could really use that will be really useful. Um, and I can expand on some of that stuff. I'll probably do some later videos like top five sleeping bags or top five tents. Uh, I've got a few tents myself now. I've gone through several over the years. Um, I've got a new tent that I'm going to be doing a review on here soon. But that, you know, that's a general thing. Um, you know, a little sidebar would be insulated cups are always a good thing if it's going to be cold or if it's going to be hot, you know, it makes your ice last a little longer, stuff like that. But, uh, you know, don't go crazy on the tent. Get a good one, but don't get a, a, you know, a really expensive one. Stay local. Get a decent cooler. Don't go crazy on the food. And, and you know, more than anything, have a good time. Bring your own bedding. Um being out in nature and being at these parks is is a wonderful thing i i'm sitting in front of the river right? i live in west tennessee and i'm at nathan bedford forest state park this is my my home site i'm like 10 minutes down the road from here i'm here all the time um you know it, it, it's perfectly acceptable to do that you don't have to make it you know the most epic family adventure ever just being out there with your kids or being out there in the woods with your couples it, it's going to be worth it so Get out there and enjoy it. Thanks for stopping by, guys.